Good morning, hello, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 20. I'm Alex and I'm engineering the apocalypse. Just came out of the Horde Night, got my basically re uh, regular layout together, and today I want to tackle the um, Pop and Pills factory that is in the sky. This is basically a desperate attempt on getting a beaker. So before I do that, I will harvest whatever has uh, grown here. Hope to be getting enough seeds back. Not for the coffee though, that's brutal. I have two pumpkin seeds. I think I have some more pumpkins even. And there's another one of these. So I can make two more pumpkin seeds. That would be great for a sustainable pumpkin supply. There's four blueberry seeds left. I think the blueberries are the least of my worries. So, let's get going. And I know this is a near suicidal idea so bear with me i will bugger out if this doesn't work out My frame rate does not love this building. There's a pop. So, my hope was that there was going to be one or two easy crates. That's apparently not gonna happen. Get me wrong, this fighting wasn't too bad. Mm. 
the loot kind of was. a really good fighting position here. Honestly, this is not gonna happen. Not by any stretch of the imagination like way too many ferals and cops and stuff As I said, way too many ferals, that's probably gonna have a basement too. Um, but, nah. Question, is there any way, because I've killed quite a few already. Yeah, any way of me getting to some kind of pop and pills loot. I don't think the answer to that is going to be a resounding no. Oh yeah, there's going to be whites and stuff down there now. Not with this armor rating. opportunities here. It's not gonna pay off. Like the first room and I've gone through a stack of ammo. Not not realistic, not gonna do that. Let's see what else is here. This place though this could be interesting. Anyway, if you think it's lame that I bucked out of the pop and pills factory, you might be right. I still think this is a survival game and not a 
respawn until you make it game. And I'm working on very limited resources here. I simply cannot restock ammo by simply crafting more because I'm lacking resources for that. Say with a pump shotgun in hand plus the AK. This might have been doable. Because first of all I have plenty of shotgun ammo. Some more. That yeah, hurt you. What is this place? I quite frankly don't want to be in here. This is not a good place. Somebody seems to be upstairs. This is a bit more of what I can handle. Might say it's that bit easy to take that. As we get to the end loot, just taking these out, so don't get an influx of zombies here all the time. That would suck. Still a couple more, I think. Somewhere at least. Okay, this is just a level 2 PUI, to be fair. But honestly, something that's been bugging me since Alpha 20 is the level 
not all level 2 PUIs are alike, so to speak. The newer ones seem to be much harder than the older ones. And I totally forgot about the bloody airdrop. As you do. Okay, this is west by northwest about here ish. I know this is gonna be a pain to find, right? Again. Dirty's over there. Bloody hell. I am a tad bit frustrated. And frustration is not a good advisor. Gonna go in here. This isn't working out. I can't handle this. I'll bugger out again. Toilet pistols would still be nice. If only for the... Uh, pistol parts or handgun parts. metric ton of these um, machine tool parts. Don't have the schematics for anything I could use them for, but um, Right now I'm scrapping headlights, this is something my head doesn't want to bend around, but um, okay, nice. An extra pay in case I scrap mine. Nice. More machine gun parts. As I level up in in terms of machine gunner this is really a good find because I have crafted this AK and if I level up once or twice more I might want to craft a level 5 machine gun or if I get the what's it called schematics for something better like an m60 or something i may be inclined to craft that Guess I'll be mining a lot of coal. That's still bullshit. This house has changed a lot. This is a magnum schematic, nice. Sneak better at night, dynamite schematic. Nice. Another set of loot and goggles. that I feel very thankful for that. 
Spear shotgun choke mod. This one I would kinda like to have. Let's go slowly here. Yeah. Thought so. They like their boss fights, don't they? Like every redesigned POI has a massive boss fight now. Although I have to admit this one was still reasonable, I should say. It's only a level 3 PUI though. Right. I'll scrap these reasons. The blood bags are harder to come by. Reserve fuel. Oh, thanks, schematic mod. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna craft that or not, but. Hmm. So now that I'm back here. I should first of all assign skill points. I have found um, the tough guy sunglasses. Those give me plus one in fortitude here. So I can get level five fortitude easy. Get the living of the land perk. For the second point, so that's only two points spent for three points of effect. That's good. That means I'm now gonna harvest, sorry, the rest of the crops. One more aloe. And one more pumpkin. Two. So anyway, I think this is gonna be it for today. I will think about what I'll do tomorrow, probably some mining, upgrading the base so that I then can go out and maybe loot uh, this town over here the day after tomorrow. Mine's actually the bigger town, so I'm kind of torn here. There might be something starting here, I don't know. This whole place is a mess. There's nothing here as far as I could see but also this is only like the lower half the southern half of the map so there might be a lot up here and some more down here so I want to go exploring but I first need to have everything uh, under control for next fortnight because this fortnight was definitely a bit a bit tougher than than the ones before so anyway thanks for watching consider leaving a like or a comment down below and i wish you a good one bye